In our gospel for today, Jesus is exhorting his listeners to have that integrity in their person. Meaning, what people see on the outside should be the same as what is happening inside the person. Because many times, we give so much value to the opinion of others about us. We give so much importance to what they will say about us that many times we have the tendency to put up a front, to put up an image so that we can be on the positive side of their description. But inside, it is quite different. That is why many times you could see people living double lives. Whenever they are in front of people, they seem to be good, sympathetic people. But when they retreat to their home, and when they are alone, they are entirely a different person. And why is that? Because we give so much premium on what other people will say. Especially in this day and time when we have social media, we are so pushed to that situation when, where we want to always look our best in front of people. You notice how much people would put filter in their photos whenever they would upload something on social media? Because they don't want people to see their blemishes. But they only want people to see a beautiful person that they have created. Because we value so much what people say. And in the sight of people, this is who we are. But out of the sight of people, this is who we are. But then we have to remember that we are not always in the sight of people. And many times we are out of the sight of people. And that is sometimes the true person, the authentic person. And we have to remember we are never out of the sight of God. And more than people's opinions, more than what people think of us, it is God's opinion which should only matter to us. Because we cannot hide anything from God. We cannot conceal anything from God. So more than valuing what other people might think or say of us, we should only value how we look in the sight of God. Because when you come to think of it, how does God look at us? God does not simply look at us with, this, with the eyes of a judging God, but He looks at us with the eyes of a merciful and sympathetic God. In the last part of the Gospel, He said that, Are you... Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins, yet you are worth more than the sparrows? Each of us is very important in the eyes of God. Each of us is very special in the eyes of God. That we do not have to put up a front, we do not have to put up a filter, because God loves us as we are we do not have to pretend we do not have to put up an image but with all our weaknesses and limitation god's god loves us and he is always extending his hand to us so that we can become more and more like him so let us not be like the hypocrites in our gospel for let us not like be the Pharisees in our gospel who were hypocrites who love to put up a face and image in front of people but were stinking on the inside but let us be ourselves and let us be more and more like God always remembering that in the eyes of God we are special and that he cares for us and he is merciful to us and he will not allow us to be to become a bad person but whenever we embrace his grace we will become more and more like him please stand